Three more techniques that we teach on the remedial course are neuromuscular technique, muscle energy technique and proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, which we do say PNF because that's far too long a word to actually say. So let's start with neuromuscular. So neuromuscular is done cross fibre. So again, if we use the gastrocnemius, the fibres are running vertically. So we will do the actual treatment across the fibre that way. And neuromuscular, what you're doing is it's in the belly of the muscle. You don't tend to do this on tendons, so it is somewhere in the more um, actual belly of a muscle that you're going to use it. Not necessarily right in the middle, but somewhere within that. And what you do is you take up the slack and then with your fingertips, it's, it's just a, a quick jiggle like that. And you're not moving around, you're just finding the spot that you need to release and just staying on that spot. And you maybe do that three or four times. So you're taking up the slack and then a quick jiggle. Take up the slack, quick jiggle. So that's neuromuscular technique, NMT. What we could do is let's suppose this is still our tight spot of muscle. I could actually use muscle energy technique for that. And we do it very, very precisely. So what we do is I put one finger, in fact, I'm going to change hands. I'm going to use this as my feeling finger. And then I'm going to use the foot to get the exact right position where I can feel that coming under my finger. So it's a very, very, very light touch with this finger. If I push hard, I won't feel it either in terms of what I'm trying to actually move to or in terms of treatment. So it's, it's just laying on the surface with this feeling finger on the, on the tight bit. And then I'm just going to move the foot to the exact right position where I feel it under my hand. And you can see me moving the foot around and the position that I can feel it exactly under my hand is there. And then all I do is I ask Kathy to give me a tiny amount of push into my hand. And you need to be quite precise with where your fingers are. So I could actually do it like that so that you can see what I'm doing. And Kathy can feel exactly where she's got to push. So Kathy just pushes a tiny bit there. And then what happens is I feel under this finger here, I kind of feel as a, almost like a little vibration. I call it the fizz, but it's, it's, the, it's the muscle releasing and normalizing. And some people call it a pulse. It's, it's very subtle, but you can feel something happening under your finger. And you just hold that until that dies. And what will often happen is it starts off fairly weakly and then it builds to a crescendo and they start feeling it fading away. And the second it starts to fade away, which is what's doing now, you need to come off because if you keep on, then you actually make the condition go backwards. But it's a magical thing. You can tell, you know, they can say, oh, yes, that's really tight, that's sore. And then you do that treatment and you press again a bit harder just to sort of elicit the pain. But there isn't any pain there to elicit by this point. So, but make sure that you use the same pressure when you're first eliciting, yes, that's sore. Take the pressure off to treat and then put that same amount of pressure back on. And then they can see that that's actually released at the point. So that's muscle energy technique you, in a very precise format of, of how to use it. And the next one is proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Now, if, when we're doing that, what we tend to do now is, which it, this is when a muscle isn't working very well. So we have to get the person, we may even have to do it for them to begin with. So it might be a stroke patient who can't move their arm. It could be any other neurological disease like MND, for instance, where they can't move things. Um, or sometimes you just get a knock, like in rugby, and they get a bit of a dead leg and things just don't, the brain's not speaking to the muscle anymore. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the brain to speak to the muscle. So let's suppose that Kathy at the moment can't, and I'm going to go to this side of the couch so you can see what I'm doing, she can't actually plant a flex. So she can't see, if she can see what's going on, it's even better because you ask her, you use all the senses, so you ask her to watch the food um, if she can, you're using the sense of sound by going, you know, sort of push your foot up, take your foot down, push your foot up, take your foot down, and it's very rhythmic, it's sort of 80 per second, or the up and down, so 40 ups and downs, 80 altogether, and it's very rhythmic, up and down, and each time it's take your foot down, take your foot up, and 
you're sensing, I've got my hand and muscle that I'm wanting to work, so that they're feeling what's needing to be worked, so they've got the, the sense of feel, they've got the sense of sound by you talking to them, and to say if they can, use the sense of sight so they're watching what's going on. So it's down and up and down and up and down and up. So that's P and F, and then when they can do it themselves, you might just give them, say, right, okay, take it down, and just give them a slight help, and now up. And that's down, that's it, and then up, and down, and up. And then eventually, as they get better, what you can do is say, right, push against me, and relax, and push against me, and relax, and push against me, and relax. Same rhythm, as they gradually get um, the brain and, the, and that nerve signal to speak to the muscles more. So that's PNF. A fourth treatment is trigger point. So let's choose a real one. So you've got a real one. I'll choose choose this one here because it's, although you might not be able to see it very well, maybe just get Kathy just to move her leg a little bit like that. So you've got one in the medial calf here. So I'll get onto the trigger point and what I do is I push straight down. Now, you push reasonably hard, but very much in the um, pain threshold of the person you're working on. You don't want it to be strictly so, because all that will happen is that they'll just resist you and push, again, push against you. You actually want to be able to get that thumb in deeper. So it's at a medium level of pain stroke push, and speak to them. Is that okay, Kathy? Yes. Okay, and you just hold it. And what you want is A, to feel your thumb sinking in further, but also Kathy to start saying to me, I can't feel that anymore. So how's that feeling now, Kathy? That's easy. Yep. And that's, I can feel my thumb now going in. Can you feel that now? I can't feel it now. So that's, that's the spot there. Now, what we now do is, if you imagine that I've been pushing a spot and I probably haven't got bang on the middle of that spot. So what I'll have done, because it's a sack filled with sugar and fat, fat, so I'll have pushed that sugar and fat one direction within that spot. So then I need to find where I've pushed it to. So there will be a point where it's still a bit tender. So I go north, south, east and west to find out where the next most tender spot is. So I go north and Cathy says, no, there's nothing there. South, that's no, okay. And then I go east and she's, oh yes, that's still tender. So now I press back on there and we go through the same thing again. So I make sure again that the pain's not too much and then gradually I feel my thumb sinking in and Cathy will tell me that that's it gone. And then the only direction I haven't gone now is west. Now she might say, oh yes, there's a little bit there and I repeat that. So that's one method for trigger points. The other method is to do what we call milking. So imagine you're squeezing your spot, you're trying to push all the fluid out in one direction. So you need to make sure that your thumb is going the same way. Now notice, actually I'm going to go on where there's not a trigger point, but you probably can see it on the camera better. So my thumb's not leaving the skin, it's squeezing my spot, squeezing the toothpaste out of the tube. You're just pushing one way and then I release. Push the same way and just keep squeezing the same way, and that's called milking. So that's another way of doing the trigger point.